Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to talk about some blush palettes from Melrose Cosmetics. Um, I'm very excited to talk about this brand because this is a, this is an independently owned company. This is a small business. I know the owner. She is a lovely person um, that I used to work with and I am lucky enough to call her my friend. Um, none of these products I got for free. I buy all of them. Make sure you always support your friends, family, or any small business that you can. It's really important because you supporting their business makes their dreams come true and their business a reality. So don't forget that. Uh, make sure you support people you know in their adventures. With that being said, um, wasn't sure if I was going to talk about them because I didn't know if they were going to be permanent. Um, but if you guys don't know anything about me, or maybe you guys do know because you watch all my videos, I love blush. I am a blush addict. I love it all. Um, and these are two blush palettes. I thought they were going to be limited edition because a lot of times um, her products are limited edition. This is one of the blush palettes. It's called Mauve Lily. Um, beautiful, all of those mauve nudies for all of those people who love a good nude blush. Here's a clip of the Mauve Lily blush palette. And then this one, which really stole my heart, it's called Red Rose. Looks a little cray cray in the pan, but we're gonna put this on today. Um, I love this. I have been inspired by all of these looks that I've been seeing with like a watermelon blush and um, this particular Red Rose palette really gives that. A little bit of information, um, you get the three colors here and it's $32. She does pre-order and then obviously when she gets her stock, she sends them out to you guys. I was informed that these are going to be permanent along with some new blushes. So that is why I had to talk about it because if you guys haven't tried anything from Mel Melrose Cosmetics, you're missing out. Out. Um, I also have some of her other other launches and other products that she's done like her liquid lipsticks um, her liners which are really amazing I've got uh, Melrose liner on and then this color was called um, Genevieve but um, she renamed it and now it's called something else but um, I've been supporting her since the beginning also this product here that I've talked about many times on my channel in different videos it is the Tao and Melrose Dragon Fruit 3-in-1 Perfecting Mist, which I still use every day. Even though she's not selling this anymore, I did really love this little collab that she did. Um, but let's get into the blushes. As you can see, I have most of all of my other makeup on. Um, I do have that liquid lipstick and liner on. I like this combo. I know Melrose is a red liner, but with this lipstick, it gives like just the most beautiful like mauve pink. And I think it's going to be perfect for my watermelon cheek look. The way I like to use it is I like to dip into this shade here at the end which is kind of a darker red and then I dip into kind of this orangey shade to kind of tone it down um the thing about these palettes is they're super pigmented you guys so you definitely uh want to be light-handed with it so I dip into the red and then I dip into this and then sometimes I go back and forth just depends on how much I want I have very little product on there and I go in so that's barely any product. I'm gonna do a little more because I like more is more, right? If you guys don't know, again, I'm a blush addict and more is what I like. But look how beautiful that is. Just the best watermelon shade. It'll get a little toned down when I put on my highlighter. So if this intimidates you a little bit, don't be. Um, but you can see how little it could be or how much it could be. I like to build up, that's just my preference working that on there see how beautiful this is blending just a beautiful shade I went a little crazy because I really want that watermelon pop then I take my brush and just kind of melt it out make sure you fix any imperfections just because it is a bolder color then I'm gonna go into a my usual trusty highlighter kind of a rose gold highlighter but you guys use what highlighter you like and then I go right over top stunning stunning watermelon shade absolutely perfect all of the colors I need in one palette to make my summer watermelon blush dreams come true 
Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I was feeling summer and this palette does it for me, the Red Rose. Most people are going to be gravitating towards this palette to buy. And I do love this palette. This was my palette I wore pretty much all winter long. It's just that beautiful shade. Or if I have like a very um, dramatic eye look on, I would go with this palette. Um, since I have the palette out, I already have some highlighter on, but I am going to go into this kind of shade here at the end because it has a little bit of sheen to it and put it on as my highlighter shade as well as a little topper, as a little topper, just cause I love to layer and mix and that's just how I do my things. It adds just a little extra dose of sparkle and it just looks absolutely beautiful. Always cleaning up, making sure my look is perfect. Um, but yeah, so let's start with Mauve Lily. Um, I added this as a topper on top of my highlighters to give a little extra oomph. Feeling spicy today. So I'm going to swatch these three colors on my hand. These are those three shades. I have them swatched pretty heavily. I do like um, a nice solid swatch so you can see the actual undertone of the color. As you can see, this could be worn as a blush or as a highlighter topper, which is kind of how I'm using it. And then you've got two different blush shades here, just absolutely stunning shades, um, universally flattering. And I'll hold it up next to the colors here so you can see for yourself. All right. So that are, is those swatches. And then I am going to swatch the Red Rose um, on the other hand for you guys. So these are the three shades here as well. Trina, here, let's show you the swatches first. So that's the three shades in the Red Rose palette here. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so I like to mix this one and this one together and it gives you just the perfect watermelon shade. Um, and that is what is in this palette. So it's the darkest shade and the lightest shade mixed together, which is what is on my face right now. And I absolutely love it. Um, I love these products. I think they are pigmented. I think they last forever and ever. I've been using this palette a really long time. And um, as you can see, the pans um, look hardly touched. It's just because I very lightly tap them. They're very, very pigmented. Um, other things I really like about this particular palette is... Um, they're in these recyclable cardboard things, but then you can actually take out the colors and put them in your Z palettes if you want, or put them in something to make it easier for travel for you. But I absolutely love these palettes. I highly recommend them. They are $32 on pre-order. They are staying as a permanent item in her collection, which I'm so excited about. Plus she is also launching new colors. I cannot wait for new colors. Um, I'm really, really hoping for like a beautiful hot orange, um, even though I've been like favoring the watermelon color lately I can't wait to have more blushes I love them um every blush color I can get my hands on I enjoy and these were no different the quality is there you're supporting a small business you definitely definitely have to check out the company but um I love the simplicity of it um and I also just I like the packaging it's very clean it's very sleek it tells you the name of it it tells you ingredients there's no mirror, so you're not getting weighed down heavy packaging. If you want to travel uh, with it or if you're a makeup artist, it's really great because you can depot them. I really think she's thought of like everything when it comes to this particular product of um, being a blush palette. It's a little bit of something for everyone. And I think all of these colors are universally flattering. Um, it's hard to choose a favorite. Uh, that's why I bought both because I think they're just absolutely wonderful. Uh, Mauve Lily is definitely for that person who wants more of like an everyday blush or just prefers more of a nude mauve color. And then Red Rose is really coming in as a surprise of how beautiful it really truly is with that watermelon shade. Um, it looks good on everybody, guys. You just sometimes you just have to try something different and step out of your comfort zone. You might be surprised. Um, but that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday in the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and I'll catch you guys on the next one.